Okay, so this is our transition. So here's where we get our mats out. And we're gonna bring our mats forward and back. And we're gonna take our shoes and socks off. So the reason we take our shoes and socks off is because these are sticky mats and your bare feet will stick on the mat so you can get a really good um, solid stance. Keeps you safer, helps you balance, lets you feel your feet on the earth. There's just something about that. You think of God as a rock and we're standing on it. Just to feel your flesh against that truth. So there's a lot of symbolism in it. Draw your abs in, up into your rib cage, feel your tailbone tuck under. Lift up tall, keep your shoulders relaxed down, but lift up through the crown of your head. Now go ahead and lift all your toes off the floor and spread your, I'm doing it with my hands, so spread your toes out as wide as you can. We did this last year. And press your little toe down, the next toe down into the mat, the next toe. One toe at a time to get to the big toes. So they're all pressed in the mat. You feel them in the mat. Lifting up your toes again, and you feel the four corners of your feet. And actually stand like that by your toes. Spread your toes out. We gotta stretch those toesies. One toe at a time, pressing down. Beautiful. So we're in our foundation. Take a big breath. Let's go tender and quiet before the Lord right now. Just hearing your breath. Letting your breath be your praise. Feeling your body, how your heart is beating, how your skin feels. Is it hot? You feel energized? Just take a little moment. Check in, see how you're feeling. Inhale, reach up, nice and tall. Clasp your hands together, press your palms towards the ceiling, just become as tall as you can. Just kind of work through the hips, side to side. Ah, feels so good. Just as God is tender with us, we're gonna be tender with ourselves right now. We worked very hard, now we're gonna stretch and strengthen. Release down. Beautiful. So inhale up. All the things and we're going to do a deep belly. Stop halfway if your heart rate's still up. Please don't fall away down. So just let your spine roll forward. Let your spine roll all the way down. I'm going to say modify here for you. Okay, so now we're just going to open up to one side.
my hot flight sardines poured into our surrender. Oh, our sins, lay all our desires down to keep the best things. The first thing search in our hearts, Lord, we want to serve you with all our hearts, mind, soul, strength. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Oh, feels good. Okay, on this next one, it's going to be a little bit of lower body work, so take a break when you need to. Okay, so step one foot forward. I'm using my right forward, so you can mirror me and do your left to my right, or you can do your right foot. Okay, and take your back foot. Okay, turn your back foot out so that your arch is aligned with your uh, heel, and then just step back as far as you're comfortable. So your back foot's turned out, but you want your hips to be forward, so adjust that back foot so hips are forward. Now both feet are pressed into the mat. You feel how they can press and the mat's holding it from slipping. Beautiful. Okay. So you can bring one arm up or both arms. I'll just do one arm on this first one. So go ahead and straighten your leg, keep your chest tall, and we're just gonna reach forward. You can bend your knee if you need to. Lay them all down, okay. And I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, this is where you can have your uh, blocks. So you want to break that position and get your blocks. Because as we come down, you can use these blocks. Now as we straighten our leg, these blocks can help you to be able to straighten your leg. And you can, you can put them however you need to, lower or higher. Okay, let's go ahead and bend your leg and come on back up. Inhale, straighten your leg, arms down. Come back up as you bend your leg. Hold your arms up straight. And come forward. One arm. If you need to just do one arm, you can, or both arms. If you can bring your hands down to the ground, that's great. But use your use those blocks because it, it, it helps you get your legs straight. Get that wonderful stretch all the way through your leg. Let's bring it back up in that leg. Use your core. Lifting from your core. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink. Inhale. Okay, we're going to add a little something on here. So on your outside your foot, get your hand nice and solid and open up to the side. So just flatten your body with a nice twist. Yeah, take a break as you need to. Now take your arm, circle towards the back of the room, down towards the floor, let your hips shift shift forward, and we're going to come back up. Five. Okay, inhale up. Exhale, sink. Come forward. Knee can be bent or straight, but try to straighten as you come down if you can. Use those blocks if you need to. Now put your hand on the inside of your foot this time. I think that'll be easier. Open up. We open our hearts to it. Imagine you're in between two panes of the mirror. So you're just flattening your body. Circle arm back and down. And you'll feel your hips move. Line forward. Beautiful. Inhale. Beautiful. Go. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> kind of intense. Okay. Remember our, our books that this position is in there. So you can go home and practice it this week. So line your feet up. Step back. Hips are forward. Feel how your hips are. Now remember when we open up on this movement, your hips are going to come to the side and they're coming forward. So right now they're forward. Reach out. You find us in the dust, Lord. Just hold for a moment here. Feel how your chest is just square over your front leg. Slowly moving back up one arm or both arms. Support yourself as you need to. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, sink down. Inhale. Exhale forward. Reach out to you, Lord. Hold it here. Use your core, both feet pressed tight into the mat. That's going to help you. Keep your body safe. Exhale, sink down. Inhale. Coming forward. Okay, we're going to um, switch it up here. Hand on the outside of your foot, open it to the side. Hold for a breath here. Circle arm back. Down as it moves by your hips. Your hips come forward. All the way up. Beautiful. You got it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, hand on the inside of your foot. Open up. To the opposite side. There you go. You got it. Take a breath here as you hold it. Feel how your body is reaching and stretching to be pressing into the mat. Circle arm back. Down. All the way forward. Inhale. 
ahead and walk back to center. Just roll up. <sighs> Take one leg out. Then the other leg. Sit nice and tall, and then just slowly turn towards the back. Take a nice stretch and look back over your shoulders. Feel that wonderful stretch. You feel it in your thighs and your hips and back. Just come back to center, switch legs. Make sure you always lengthen your spine before you twist. Lord, we give you our heart. We give you our minds. We give you our body and soul. All that we have, we give to you. Beautiful. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Use your hands if you need to. I'll go to the side. Nice and slow. Using those abs. We're going to activate our abdominals. One of my favorite all-time songs to do in this class. Okay, one leg bent, one leg straight. So you're going to lift, lift. So what you want to do is make sure you've got your entire core is activated. Belly button is pressed down. Hips are pressed tight onto the floor. So you're activating your abs. Lift. You can keep your entire body flat just lifting that leg. But feel that leg lift come from the core. That core strength is activating the movement through your hips, up into your legs. If you want to have upper body, you can support your head and just lift your chest. Lift, lift, lift. Another option if you don't want to get your neck up off the floor, if it just doesn't feel comfortable, keep your head on the floor. And you can just do some hand presses activating your chest. So it's chest and abs at the same time. Press. Press, press, use your breath, good job, just modify, the main thing is you really want to activate your abs, so modify as you need to, you can keep that extended leg bent as you lift, you can even keep both feet on the floor and just press and release, just tighten and release. Anybody else in here? It's bad hands. 
Belly down. Imagine you're tightening that pelvic tree. Tighten, release, breathe out.
with whatever you've been talking to Lord about. Just feel like a nice big inhale. And that represents, Lord, I'm just taking in this truth into my heart. And exhale out. Just let everything else go. Let your body relax a little deeper into the floor. Just let that joy, that gratitude, well up in your soul with each breath of all that God has done for you. You, O oh Lord, put your breath in my lungs and your spirit in my body. I am so grateful for your love and for your caring. This is out of Isaiah. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it. So Lord, we just thank you so much for the breath in our lungs. We thank you for this time together to where we can give you everything, everything in our, our being, our minds, our bodies, our souls, our spirits, our bodies. We just give the rest of this day to you, the rest of this week to you. We love you, Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. Go ahead and wiggle your fingers and toes. Just draw your knees up into your chest. And you can either roll to your side and push yourself up, or you can just kind of rock on your back and rock your way up. We're just going to come up into a sitting position. Just find that comfortable position just to end our class together. So just as the body of Christ, we are all individual people. We each are different. We each come with our own gifts. But as one, we make, we make up the church. So together as one, let's just take a big deep breath together of giving God praise. Lift our arms up and say, we love you. We thank you. And exhale. Beautiful. We're there. Good job, everybody. Yay. Oh, so good. <laughs> so remember to take a flyer because I will be out of town in October and we don't have anybody else to teach class while I'm gone. Be praying that. Okay? Lord, bring someone else. Um, so the schedule for the whole year is on there since I'm going to be gone. So when I'm in town, we're going to have class. When I'm out of town, we'll you can do the videos online. And I also, before I leave, I'm going to try to give you some of my favorite things to do. There's a lot of great things online you can do. And maybe you have some favorite things you can share with me. So share with me, and then I'll try to make up a sheet, and then we'll just have some ideas. Keep each other motivated. Keep going, you know. <laughs>